For a year, every day, Russia has killed innocent Ukrainian women, men and children, running down its uh, missiles on cities and civilian infrastructure, as we can see from the pictures that are part of this exhibition. Every day, Russia keeps spreading lies and fabrications. Every day, Russia keeps violating the UN Charter, seeking to annex part of Ukraine through its imperial war. The people of Ukraine deserve peace, but not just any peace. I want to stress that this is not a European issue. No, it is about the West versus Russia. No, this illegal war concerns everyone, the North, the South, the East, and the West. And yesterday, in New York, at the United Nations General Assembly, 141 countries from across the world, from the EU, from Serbia, from many countries are here, again decided to condemn the Russian aggression. And this is because no one is safe in a world where the illegal use of, of force would be normalized. The photographs on the walls, which I hope everyone has an opportunity to review, tell a story far more compelling than any words that I can offer here at this podium. But Beyond the horror and the tragedy that has displaced millions of people uh, in the country of Ukraine, both internally and externally, uh, a tragedy that has sent thousands of Ukrainians to Serbia, where they have found um, comfort and have been welcomed and supported. What this tragedy has shown us is that there is a unity of spirit throughout Europe, across the Atlantic, and frankly, around the world.